Good morning. I have woke up here in Aberdeen, Scotland for the Aberdeen, or the Scotland Aberdeen Comic Con and yeah, yesterday I travelled up. I haven't done a video for any travelling. I was a bit tired. It's been a long day yesterday but I have stayed at the Loft Hotel just next to where the event is being held. It's being held at the P&G Live in Aberdeen and just now it's coming up for 10 past 8. I have early access at 9am. I am going to try and go down and get some breakfast in the hotel. I don't know if I'm going to record much of that. If I do, I'll probably put that in the hotel video that will do of the room. Um, you can check that out if you wish. But today it's Comic Con day. Back at Comic Con. I'm only here for today, Saturday. Early entry. Haven't been to this one before. I've been to the one in Edinburgh before by the same uh, company, events company. So that was the uh, Scotland Comic Con based in Edinburgh and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it. So new guests, new traders, new cosplay, different people, looking forward to meeting you all. Join me for today for this awesome, awesome day. Let's look at the view that I've got of I don't really know of Aberdeen, of some fields and the car park. But just look how nice of a day it is. So yeah, let's get the bag on and get going to Aberdeen Comic Con. I'm looking forward to this. Well, I've got the trusty bag on because I might buy merch, buy t-shirts, as, as always. Uh, but yeah, let's get out of the room. The lights off. I wonder if I move that. I have had a really good sleep and really enjoyed this hotel. It's a really nice hotel. It's the first time I have stayed in a loft, a L O F T, a loft hotel. So it's been really good. And uh, I think it's by Marriott. Marriott, a loft. Let's go and see if I can get a quick bite to eat, a quick breakfast and head on over. I'm right next door to the event. <laughs> How awesome is that? Love the decor. And a lift. <laughs> Oh, well, I enjoyed that breakfast and I am heading out this way. The other door, the back door, that's the front door. This is the back door. And it's cold. Oh, there's the wind. Feel the breeze. I could go that way, but I'm going to go this way just so you can see. Oh, just so you can hear the wind. Where'd you have a look at this? I'll go this way actually. It's a really smart looking. Arena, do you call it? P and J Live. Oh, it's turned into a horrible day. Very, very windy. But it's looking very smart. It's the first time I've been here. I've got to go through that long security check first and then get inside. So I'm gonna go through that and I'll see you when I'm over there probably waiting to go in to the event. Let's get inside and out of this weather. Oh, it's starting to rain. <laughs> Thank you. And I am inside. And it's just after, what time is it just now? It's just after nine. And we are welcomed to the Comic Con Scotland Aberdeen 2024. Let's get inside. So the ticket was checked outside, so I just need to walk straight in through two doors, doors four and five and get into the Comic Con. Oh, let's get inside, see what's going on. Just before I walk through the doors and go into the Comic Con, I bought this cool memento, to be fair, to, to say that I've been here for £2. 
over a lanyard style map and photo area or photo information. The Times says photo area A and B. I'll turn this over. Oh. Saturday, so I'm only here for today. Q&A panels, 10am, we've got Power Rangers, we've got Bonnie Wright from Harry Potter, Walking Dead, Cosby Competition, Karen Gillan, the Karen Gillan is in a lot of films, Guardians of the Galaxy, for one, Charmed, Bernard Hill, and here is the hall, well, here's the map of the hall, we'll be in the hall in a, mo in a moment. You've got a wrestle zone, traders. To me, it doesn't look massive, doesn't look big, but it might be deceiving here, looking at this. But I thought that was a really cool idea. For this year, for two pounds. And on Sunday, there's, there's a photo areas for Sunday times. And for today, photo areas, those are your photos. Times for the different folk that you can meet and get a photo taken with. Get Tim Kazarinski. I believe he is from. Where's he from again? Oh, I've went blank. That police film. <laughs> oh, I'm still waking up. Police Academy. I got it. Police Academy. I think there's a few here from Police Academy that you can meet. Let's get inside, so door four, let's have a look what's going on. <sighs> Not too busy yet, but I expect it to be getting very, very busy. We're walking straight in, we've got Game of Thrones. Cool props, you can't get any closer than I am just now, but... It's a Game of Thrones coffee. Is that coffee? Game of Thrones coffee? Is that supposed to be there? Nightmare. Iron Islands, the wall. What's that there? Is that chess? Map markers and map crown. The golden hand. Jamie Lannister's golden hand. Now I have seen Game of Thrones. I've watched it twice through. I do enjoy Game of Thrones. I still think I should watch it again to really get the story. Because there's so much going on. In the storylines. Brienne of Tarth. Oathkeeper. And we've got Jamie Lannister's sword. Lots and lots of Game of Thrones. Props. Even a photo up there as well. With the dragon glass. Kill the White Walkers. And you've got the tiara as well. Cersei, Cersei Lannister's tiara. This is different. I haven't seen this amount of props for Game of Thrones anywhere really. I think it's the first time I've ever seen a collection like this. There's the dragon eggs. Khal Drogo's sword. Look at this, look at the detail. Look at that, the dragon skulls. And the helmets. Oh, the hounds, the hounds. Helmet, or helm, is that what they call it? Hounds helmet, look at that. I am in, as you all know. The entrance was there, so I've came in this way. I've came up to the stage area to give you an idea, an overview. Rather than looking at the map and a bit of paper, you can have a look at this look. Everything going on over there. There's all your celebrities, all your opportunities to get an autograph with those you want to get an autograph with. Can't really get any closer to, to, to anyone if it's all queues and, and whatnot and you're not really take photos and videos unless you are paying. So I will show as much as I can from where I can. Obviously, who's here and whatnot. This is the stage, so there'll be a few Q&As as the day goes on. Lots of stalls, which I'll be looking out for, some t-shirts and some cool things. And here is the wrestling. 
So it's quiet just now. I'm sure that we're going to get louder later on for some wrestling action, some Q and A's. But I'm going to walk around the anti-clockwise. I'm going to go around this way along the back there. I may have a look at some of the games just now first. Some of the games, some classic games, computer games. And then I'm going to take a walk around, see what's going on there with the queues, and then take a look at some stalls and just go with the flow. There's a cool photo. Photo ops and props that we had a look at there just when we came in. Yeah, awesome. So far, let's go and explore. And just before it gets busier, well, I can't show you the gaming area and some of the games, the consoles, I can show you just now. Listen to all the noises. <laughs> the Gremlins game. There's so many games. It's like long, long rows and rows and rows of games. Super Invaders. It's good old Pac Man. We oh, have spotted Jurassic Park, a Jurassic Park game. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the traders, some of the stalls, spend some money probably. Let's see what's going on, what's on to all of them, what's on offer. Is there anything different? How oh, awesome is that? For five pounds, I could not resist. The VHS of Disney's, Walt Disney's masterpiece, Fantasia. Ghostbusters of Aberdeen because I've never been up here. So let's have a look at their stall. Who are you going to call? Aberdeen Ghostbusters. So cool. we got the smoke coming out. Twinkies. It's making me hungry. Look at this. Oh. We have Kylo Ren. Looks like stormtroopers getting hit with nerf guns. <laughs> Love it. Oh, 
Watch the moves out. <laughs> so good. Five hundred and first legion. Oh, the stormtroopers. <laughs> so many cool photo ops on this side as well. We've got some interactions. <laughs> oh, so good. What was the Adams family? You can get some cool photo of it, that's really good. That's a good idea, I like that. So the Adams family here going on. It's just here, Pilgrim's World, what's that? Do I, do I, do I think I, what's that? Does anyone know what that is? What this means? Is that, is that all Adams family? Is that all? Wednesday? I haven't seen Wednesday so I'm picking up some Wednesday themes stuff here. You can get a photo taken, just sit down there and get a photo taken. I've got a few selfies taken with uh, Star Wars folk. I'll post them online on my social media, Instagram. I've seen this in Edinburgh and I still don't know what this is. That just looks gruesome. Just look at that. Look at the detail. How scary is that? <laughs> a doll and a horse. I don't know why that creeps me out. When something says don't open, you definitely don't open it. You have been warned. I've seen this last time, I've seen this photo up last time in Edinburgh. And there was someone standing here, jumping out, so I remember I linked the video down below of the comic, uh, comic con I went to in Edinburgh. And you can have a look at that. Again in Edinburgh, I got to meet Elijah Wood. I've uh, taken a selfie with like this photo up. It was really cool meeting Elijah Wood. I'm not meeting any ca um, characters. Why am I saying characters? Because I'm Disney and Universal. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not there. Uh, I'm not meeting characters. Humans, actors, I'm not meeting any actors or famous folk today. I was thinking about meeting Bonnie Wright because of obviously Harry Potter and I'm a massive Harry Potter fan, but it's not to be today. Is this blue? Is blue escaped? Is this blue? Yeah. Look at the size of this jab of the hut. Photo up. Have I taken a selfie with it? I think I have. <laughs> oh, it's such a really good photo up. <laughs> Look at the size of Jabba the Hutt. If it starts talking to me in a minute, I will freak out. We've even got Han Solo has made an effort to turn up. It's not saying much though. Don't know why. Seems very quiet. Some very good photo ops here. I'll show you as much as I can of the photo ops. Look at this table. Lots and lots of all grass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that. 
at Madame Hooch. Oh, that's cool. They even have JJ Abrams. Signature for 75. Came to another stall and found ET with a featured motorised pull back and go action. That is absolutely awesome. Don't think I've had a open this. <laughs> Sorry, Pat. An actual magnet somewhere has listened. Comic Con Scotland, Aberdeen have listened and they're selling magnets. So that's one for my collection. And we have Jenny Weasley. Jenny Weasley is on stage in the QA. Bonnie Wright is very busy. I don't think I'll get a seat. So let's see how close I can get when we have a listen and watch. And I just love the excitement that people have and just the stories of, of how Harry Potter's affected their life or how like they love it with their siblings or their parent. Like I think it's really something that brings people together and a lot of people can agree on Harry Potter, whereas sometimes there are shows that people watch in the family that, you know, are more, you know, dividing. But I think Harry Potter really brings everyone together. Yeah. Have you been to the theme parks or and or Warner Brothers? I'm sure you've been many times. What's it like to be there and see the sets recreated? Yeah, the, the, I personally am like a big fan of theme parks anyway, like I love rides and I love the thrill and I love world building, like I love stepping into worlds that have been created for us, so I was so excited when they when they like decided to make a theme park of Harry Potter. Um, I haven't been for like a couple of years now, um, but I do, do love it, so I look forward to taking Elio there when he's of age to go on rides. <laughs> Um, and, and yeah, the studio tour obviously that you have just outside London, there are actual sets that we filmed on. We're here from WrestleZone Scotland, we have got live wrestling action throughout the day for you today here in between the panels at Comic Con Aberdeen. Thank you. Hey. You all having a good day, yeah? Let's see you make some noise, Are you having a good day here at Comic Con Aberdeen? Next contest is going to be a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Reese Dawkins! And his tag team partner, ladies and gentlemen. I'm joined here ringside by their opponents, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, the undisputed WrestleZone champion. He is lost by Aspen, the mighty Caleb Valhalla. Hold on to this for me. Thank you. I've got a chain. I don't, I don't think you can use that. No, no I think you've got to head now. Give me that as well. Nice, far too heavy. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Hi, hi! Get in the ring! Get in the ring! Hold on! Get in the ring! Give me a minute! 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 Give me Get in the ring! Thank you! Ryan, he's back! He's back, Michael! They are back! They are back! Come on! Come on, go to him! Okay, come on, go to him! Okay! Okay! Here we go, ring the bell! I am a god! Hey, I'm the god here! No, I'm a god! Hey, I'm the god! I'm a god! He prayed to me! I'll suck your beard off! What does that mean? I don't know! I'm gonna slap his beard off. Don't slap his beard off! Don't slap his beard off! Don't slap his beard off! Don't slap his beard off!
T-shirts yet that I like. in trouble. <laughs> over, man. He has trouble. He's rested. He's back from vengeance. Is that a joke? <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Amazing. <laughs> that was his best line in the movie. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> There's a TARDIS that you can actually go inside. The last one, I wasn't able to go inside. Is that? And you've got Karen Gillen is not here just now. That's her table. Some cool photos. That you can get signed. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Doctor Who. Jumanji. Very, very busy. I don't think you'll be having any food here. 
here. They have to wait till I go back to the hotel. Welcome! Oh my gosh! This is so huge! Who was here last year? How much different is this? It's great, now. Right, we're going to kick off today with our cosplay championship, which is... This is me! We're going to start off today with our cosplay championship. Entrants have had to make 75% or more of their outfits and they have been pre-judged this morning. What I would like to do is introduce you first to our judges, our esteemed panel of judges. First up we have Alistair and Isla. Now Alistair and Isla are well renowned on the Glasgow front, but it's your first time in Aberdeen, is not it? First time, yes, yeah, good. Next up, we have Shayla, Cosmic Chameleon Cosplay. <laughs> How long have you been cosplaying for, Shayla? Uh, 11 years. Is last year's championship winner, Chris Wolf, as Iron Man. What's your cosplay journey been from last year? Well, it's not, to be honest. I've had a lot of good, um, good things. I've done a couple of Charlie gigs and that as well, so it's been, honestly, I, I thought I was going to wear it once and I, I don't think I've had it off. <laughs> You've got the bug for it. <laughs> we have Molly as Pyramid Head from Silent 2 2. Silent Hill! Poof. Next up we have Rivers and Emma as Chainsaw Devil and Blood Devil from Chainsaw Man. These costumes were built over seven months. The proton packs, weapons and ghost trap were all designed and made using foam, PC, P, PC, C pipes. Six months of work, all the patches, uh, a Mandalorian Ghostbuster mashup basically, all down to the very fine details. All made using foam of different fitness and density. Took 20 days, but 10 hours a day. Next up, we have Axios cosplay and Frogu cosplay as Chainsaw Man, Bomb Devil, and Angel Devil. Five hours in just in one of these costumes alone. Um, there's too much for me to read out actually about the details. Judges, have you made a decision? Right, this was a really, really hard decision because everyone looks so amazing. Um, there was just, it was really, really hard. Like, everyone put in so much detail, like, so much effort, like, there was like bits of every cosplay that we just like, you know, we loved, we just, yeah, it was very, very hard. In the end, we all chose the Mandalorian Ghostbuster! <laughs> the sheer amount of detail in this, these cosplays just blew us away, like the amount of skills, like all the different techniques they use, you know, they didn't just do prop making, you know, they did armor, they did 3D printing, foam work, um, they printed out their own stickers in, you know, Mandalorian language, which was really impressive. <laughs> um, you know, the weapons were incredible, yeah, there was just lots of different skills, and in the end, that's what really made it for us. So give them all a big hand!
Well, 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 Aberdeen, what a turnout for our guests. Are you excited? Yeah. Comic Con Scotland, Aberdeen, we, this is the one we've been waiting for. I'm going to need you to do me a favor. I'm going to need you to get really rowdy and give a huge round of applause, make a lot of noise to welcome back the beautiful Karen Gillen. Of applause for Karen Gillen. Looking gorgeous as always. Thank you. We're so honored to have you here. How is it like to be back in Scotland? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm home. It feels really nice. And I'm just, I'm seeing so many people that I know that have come over from Inverness. Oh, wow. Like my neighbor is here, my family is here, and uh, yeah, I'm just, it's so nice. Yes. And we saw a great video that you did for us at Monopoly events. And you know, your mom is here as well. You've got some family with you. How is oh, that yes. been traveling with them? Marie Gillen is yeah. here. She's backstage. Yes, right round of applause. <laughs> she will be signing autographs later. Yes, we'll give you a great deal for sure. It's got to be so great to be back. But how has it been meeting your fans here in Aberdeen? How's the Comic Con experience been for you? Amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing that. Um, Everyone has the same accent as me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm not used to this. Uh, but no, everyone's been so nice. So thank you for coming to say hi. And yeah, it's always lovely. We're so happy. Are we so happy to see Karen back here? It's amazing. And I mean, you've had such an illustrious career, but obviously we're all fans of Guardians of the Galaxy. Am I right? Can you tell us a little bit about how the role of Nebula came to you? The role of Nebula. Well, first of all, I got a call from my agent, as usual. And then my agent was like, are you willing to shave your head? And I was like, what for? And she said, Marvel? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and that's pretty much how it went down. However, when I said yes, I kind of thought there's no way I'm going to get this role because it was one of those like cattle call auditions where they like scour different countries and stuff. So I'm like, there's no way this is actually going to happen. Yeah. I'm not going to be bold. Um, and then I was in London, so I went into audition. This is interesting. I didn't make the cut in that audition. So basically how it works is the casting director will be like, oh, here are my favorite tapes from that set of auditions and show that to the director. And I didn't make the cut, so the director never saw my tape. But then he was looking through all the other auditions because he was like, oh, this is not really the vibe that I'm looking for. So he like went through and he was like, oh, is that the girl? from Doctor Who, and he just clicked on it, and he was like, oh, yeah, that's the type of vibe that I'm looking for. Um, so that was a kind of small miracle. Yeah. Know that you have so many more autographs and photo ops to do, but any final words for your fans here? Because obviously there is such a great turnout, they're feeling the love, and we're just so happy to have you here. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much for coming and listening to me rabbit on. I'm <laughs> totally flattered and appreciative, so thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your applause one of these Dr Pepper strawberry and cream at the stalls, one of the stalls and I just came outside of the halls just now just to get some fresh air there's no food it has closed so I'll have to get something later on well it's been a busy day I have been non-stop listening to some Q&A's oh there's music here, copyright music Ooh, two minutes like I was saying, it's very hard to record that music, but I have found some posters. Um, yeah, how good was that talk with Karen Gillan? One of Scotland's own in a lot of major, major films. I ended up buying this Dr Pepper strawberry cream. I'm going to have this. I might go get some fudge and a massive sugar kick. Keep me going for the rest of the day until I get more pizza. Yes, more pizza. Are you surprised? I'm also going to go have a look at the t-shirts now, so let's go have a look at the t-shirts. Because I'll end up buying too much. <laughs> I'll end up buying these posters and the t-shirts. Now I do like these sorts of posters, but the ones I've seen previously, the ones that I signed, they were really cool. More expensive, but really unique. But yeah, let's say uh, 
Let's go have a look at those t-shirts. Oh, that's funny. Teenage Mutant Tina Turtles. And then there was a chat about this one. So I ended up getting a t-shirt. I got a, a Jawa t-shirt, a Droid Sales t-shirt, and I got the fudge as well. I'm going to have the fudge later on. I might have that drink, that can, that juice later on, so stay tuned for my reaction. I've never tried that before, so that's later's treat once I'm back in the hotel. So obviously the detail's amazing. I think you guys won the competition as well, didn't you? Yeah. Can look at the back, is that alright? How long did it take to, to put it all together? Seven months. Seven months? Wow. Evenings and weekends. What gave you the idea? The kind of, really? Right? Wow. A fan of both? Obviously, yeah. yeah. So cool. So cool. Thank you. Thank you. Milo's now makes all the scrunchies, and I make everything else the same. From our alarm, it was great. That's awesome. What's it made from? Yeah. Yeah, yeah alright, okay. <laughs> Daft question then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, please. This feels stronger than paper, doesn't it? It's awesome. How long does it take? Do you make it as a shoes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I make more, yeah. So from about 8 hours up to 18 hours. So ah, well. it's probably about 16 hours to make from start to finish. So it's whatever's in your head. It's amazing. Cool. Literally. Everything we do. So what's the, the reason behind it? Sorry, I'm Me, sorry for all the questions. But. Like my son was born, um, really rare condition, skin life expectancy of only two hours. So for the first six months of his life was spent in the hospital, operation after operation, saying he won't live, he won't live. Well, and he was diagnosed with a rare condition where the oldest child lived to live two, so he said he wanted to pass two. Um, so we spent most of his life in the hospital, so I, I stopped making these for the kids on the wards. Oh, did you? Um, actually, actually, so when you're in the ICU and you can't leave, the kids, I'd say, who's your hero? I'd say, Spider Man. You go to bed next morning, Spider Man's sitting at the bottom of the bed. Ah, that's cool, and, it's like, it? yeah. and it was that sort of like satisfaction going, I know that child's never going to forget that. Oh, um, cool, yeah. So we started raising money for presents in hospital uh, yeah. for kids that couldn't go home and then we started raising money for the sensory room and now everything that we do all goes towards buying an adaptive caravan. So uh, families okay. of two and children have a family home, it? so uh, it's just accessible for everyone. Fantastic. Um, so 100% of everything we do. So I make literally everything and Milo's man makes all the scrunchies. Wow. So we don't take so anything back, it's just 100%. Amazing. So I, make, I make all these superheroes, but my son's a real superhero. He's had a lot of I agree with that. And it's like, totally agree with that. Everyone will go, like, how long does it take? It about 18 hours. You know, saying, but the difference it makes the families is priceless. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can never that. put an amount on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Mm. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's amazing. That's awesome. Look at that. <laughs> that's cool. I like that, that's awesome. That's awesome. I think there's like probably about 500 eels in them. <laughs> um, I think he takes about 25 hours to make him. Wow. I think we're going to have to go for this little one. Did I say earlier on that I would not meet Bonnie right? I was wrong. Oh, so cool. Just waited until later on in the day for it to be quiet. And I managed to get in. £45, well spent. Massive Harry Potter fan. Never get the chance to meet many folk from Harry Potter, so there you go. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. You were awesome. Well, I think it's time for me to leave the Comic Con. The time. You don't want it to happen. You just never want it to end. Oh, and we're out in the cold air. My hotel is right there. That's how close I am staying. Ah, oh, look, it's been raining out here. It's been a horrible, horrible day. By the looks of it. There's a little better look. Yeah, the welcome. 
to PJ, the PNG Live. And there's here's a rain coming on again. Why is it always me? Why? Why? As soon as I walk out, it starts to rain. And yes, I am also right next to the airport as well. Why? 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 Oh. Why? It starts to rain as soon as I walk out. Oh, look at the state of my hair, the wind's just crazy, the rain, you can't even see me can you? Like I said, I am lucky that my hotel is just there, so I think we'll go back to the hotel and recap back there, rather than standing out in this horrible, horrible weather. Ah, and then you have it. They just don't want a Comic Con to end. For me anyway, it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it flies by, there's just so much going on and then suddenly it's time to leave, you don't want it to finish, so that's where we're at, <laughs> I am back in the room, I am staring at some of the stuff that I bought, never bought a lot, but I did spend a little bit today, I bought a t-shirt and whatnot, and also Bonnie Wright got to finally sneak in and meet and get a selfie with Bonnie. Right, I'll put the full picture, even though I've shown the picture on my phone, like, yeah, shown the picture on my phone to the video, but I'll post that uh, picture online on my Instagram and Facebook. But yeah, let's have a look at what I purchased today. Let's have a look at this stuff. So, if you watch the video, you will know what I bought, I know, but I'm gonna try the fudge. I'm gonna try this juice. In a minute as well. Well, t-shirt. I thought this was, this was cool. This was something similar to uh, i seen and something similar to what I've bought when I went to the, if you've seen the videos, the Star Wars celebration uh, days last year. So there's a reason I'm buying this t-shirt. I'm just saying. Just putting it out there. There's a reason I'm buying that. This year as well, I've strangely Started to get back into VHSs, I don't know why. I don't have a VHS machine <laughs> to watch them, but there's something about VHSs right now for me. I don't know what it is. But when I see them, my eyes just kind of like, not light up, but, oh yeah, light up. But just, I'm just drawn to it, if that makes sense. So, obviously, myself being a massive Walt Disney World and Disney like Paris and Disney, Disney, Disney fan, it caught my eye straight away, so I got that, £5, brilliant, that was £16 for the t-shirt, £5 for that, the fudge I thought was expensive, that was £9 for the fudge, this Grogu, the child, I just thought it was an amazing, amazing piece of, kind of craft and the thought behind doing it as well, the story, and just everything about it, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. This year, it's hard to explain the kind of quality of it as well, so it's just a great quality. Out of paper, you would never have thought this would be paper, but it just feels solid, and uh, yeah, I thought it was really cool. So, you can sit there, on the sill, you can even look at the view, see what's going on. But yeah, check, check it out for yourselves, Mission Milo. There's the Facebook and Instagram. Awesome. And then we've got this, I'm going to try this in a moment. The Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. I don't know why I'm so excited to try a drink, but Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. I'm going to try this. And the fudge. I've got the mint fudge. But yeah, I've absolutely enjoyed every second every minute of a new Comic Con for me, being in Aberdeen, and I haven't been in Aberdeen in general in a long, long time. I would love to come and visit Aberdeen more often. So much to, to explore everywhere, and obviously, of course, in Aberdeen as well. So I'd love to come in and uh, check it out one day, one week, one weekend. That would be really cool, but 
I am really enjoying getting into Comic Cons. It's been cool. There's such a great community and the people I meet, the cosplays we've seen today, so the cosplays, the Q and A's, so Karen Gillan and obviously I met Bonnie Wright, but I mean the the, the masquerade, the competition, the effort that people put in to cosplay, that's their passion, that's their love, and they can see it, and they love it, they enjoy it, and everyone else enjoys seeing them doing it, and yeah, fantastic, fantastic community, and that's what really draws me to it, so obviously I do a lot of content at Walt Disney World, Universal, Studios, uh, Disney, Land Paris, Disney Cruises, these kind of things, theme park stuff, but this kind of ties in for me because there's so many similarities, so many interests, Star Wars, for example, Galaxy's Edge, Walt Disney World, there's really different ties in, tie-ins, I love it, I love, uh, love the feeling of it, of the people that you meet, like I say, so I'm going to try this juice, let's try this juice, I'm going to maybe sit down for this, let's, let's sit down for the juice, um, let's have, let's have a, a taste of the juice and the fudge. Here we go. Starting with the, the juice first. I know it's maybe not like a special juice, but I've never tried it before. I've never had it before. Ready? That's nice. Straight away was the smell. The smell. That's really good. Strawberry and cream Dr. Pepper. And we have a new favourite. That's good. Right. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. Not now. Not right now. Um, well, well, I say it's quite expensive. To be honest with you, it's massive. That is huge. So, yeah, maybe it's not. Anyway, I like mint, so let's give this a go. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It took a few seconds here, but it, mm, it's really creamy, really soft. Mm -hmm. That is so good. Yeah, I'm speechless. Wow. I'm going to put this away because I end up eating the whole lot and I'm going to get pizza. <laughs> well, I'm actually going to do a room tour of this room, um, the video, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say, that's really it, that's the end of Aberdeen uh, Comic Con, so Scotland Comic Con, Aberdeen, and it's been awesome, like I said, I've said it all, so I won't repeat myself, but if you like Comic Con videos, I've got a few out already from last year and already from this year. If you want to come along with me, join the adventures, as well as theme parks, Disney World and everything else that I've already said, then hit subscribe and uh, yeah, just join my adventure, join the community. I've got an amazing community here online and uh, yeah, I cannot wait to bring you so much more, so much more stuff coming in 2024 and 2025 already that I've got organised and booked and all that stuff. So I will... Leave it all there, and I will see you all on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, and also I will see you, hopefully, in the next video. Bye for now. Hope you're all well, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.